How to use Klaviyo to send emails. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how you can use Klaviyo to start your email marketing journey and how you can get a good KPI using Klaviyo. So let's jump right into it. First off, we're on the homepage of Klaviyo.com and we are just going to click on sign up and Klaviyo is free to use depending on the number of customers that you are serving and I'll get back to this point at the end, but first I'm going to create my account. So over here, you're just going to fill out your details and then you're going to verify your account and I'll do that and I'll get back to you guys in a second. And now just as you have filled in some of your personal details, Klaviyo is going to give you the option to design your email. So it even is going to give you the general color scheme of your website and it's going to ask you if you want to change it up to fit your overall theme of your website. Now I'm just going to continue with this and now we're going to move on to our Klaviyo dashboard. So once I confirm my email, I'm going to get back to you guys in one second. Now this is the basic dashboard of Klaviyo and you can see you have your objectives, your performance, general analytics, your lists and segments, and your activity feed. And this is going to be your basic dashboard. On the left you can see your different campaigns, you can separate them in the campaign section. So. Uh, you can keep different companies and different businesses or different clients separated. After that, you have your flows and I'm going to get back into flows in a minute and I'm going to discuss these in detail. After that, you have your email templates. Obviously, you're not going to retype emails, thank you emails, welcome emails, and all that over and over again. So you're just going to save your email templates in this section. And this is what the email templates look like. You can create a template and you can see there are some basic newsletter versions that are also provided with the free demo on Klaviyo. Below that, you have your sign-up forms and your SMS conversions. So if you are emailing people and you want some kind of sign-up form, a newsletter form, so if you want someone to subscribe to your email list, if you want to provide special discounts, you can create these sign-up forms, which are very lucrative in garnering more email um, subscribers and more people that are going to be interested in your products. After that, you have SMS conversions, which is obviously going to be a email to SMS converted message. After that, you have your lists and segments. So the list and segments is going to provide you with your clientele, with all of the people that are going to be receiving your uh, subscriptions or the people that are taking a part in your signups or newsletters. All of that is going to be present over here. Below that, you have your general profiles of these people. So um, whatever they might be, whoever is active on your um, account. After that, you have your analytics. So overall, how your email marketing is going, you're going to get the general metrics on this. After that, you have integrations and on integrations, you're actually going to add your store name. So uh, usually people are using Shopify and you're going to integrate Shopify from here. Uh, usually it shows up on the top, but here it is. And you're going to add the Shopify integration. And once you add the Shopify integration, you're going to automatically add Klaviyo on-site JavaScript. And you're going to make sure you tick this. So it allows Klaviyo to add their JavaScript little code onto your Shopify site so they can actually take a rundown and see your abandoned carts, your product flows and people that are viewing your products and not clicking on them, people that are clicking through products too much and all that. It's going to give you a general and insight on your store as well. After that, you have your catalog, data feed, preference pages, brand library, and tags. So these are just some more categories. Now, if we move back onto flows. Now, what are flows? Flows are basically your back and forth between a customer and there are around 12 basic core flows, but there are four most important flows that I'm going to talk to you guys about. And those are the welcome flows. So these are one of the most essential flows that you have to develop. And after that, you have your abandoned checkout flow. Then you have your abandoned purchase flow. And then you have your abandoned cart flow. So these are the four most 
essential flows that you need to be keeping track of. And if the KPI for each of these flows is met, you're going to keep on sending emails. And if the click through rate is dropping down, people are not reading your email after a certain point, then you're obviously going to start reducing the number of emails you send that person. So obviously your flows are going to really impact the revenue that you are generating using Klaviyo. And you can view all different ideas provided by Klaviyo. So Klaviyo is going to give you, you know, just these general flow ideas. So if you have a happy birthday email, you can send a subscription abandoned cart email and if we click on abandoned cart, you can see all of these different kinds of abandoned cart workflows. And I'm going to tell you that make sure to add the standard abandoned cart reminder, which allows you for less confusion and it, it's less specific, but it, it does the job just as well. So you want to really send this email every time you have a abandoned cart and you can recover most of them if you uh, send this email and a pre-built abandoned cart series is really going to help you in uh, optimizing your workflow and uh, making it far less time consuming. Now, if we were to look at the post-purchase follow-up, so this is also pretty important that you thank your purchase for, uh, thank your customer for their purchase and make sure that they really know that you are someone that is uh, upkeeping their brand reputation by thanking them and whatnot. Now, another thing is your abandoned uh, product flow. So if a product or a cart is abandoned, you're going to select the marketing email to remind them about their abandoned cart, as well as you're going to bump the advertising for that product. So that person is going to see that product over and over again, and they are going to reconsider their choices. Now we're going to get started and I'm just going to show you guys how to create a flow started and what are some of the most important details you need to keep in mind while creating a flow. So let's just say we have a abandoned cart reminder or maybe now if we're going to create a welcome uh, workflow started, we're just going to name it and we're going to select any tags we want to add and we can add a trigger to our flow. So when should this email be sent to your recipients or your customers? Well, it depends entirely upon the type of email that you're sending. Obviously, if it is a welcome series and someone just places a order or uh, signs up for your newsletter, you want to welcome them to the newsletter group and you might want to offer them like a discount or something along those lines. Now, for example, if we're going to make the trigger a newsletter and then we're just going to click on create flow. And now over here, you can see your emails, update profile, property, notification, timing and logic. So your conditional splits, when should the email be sent? So the trigger is someone's going to subscribe to the newsletter. They are they have placed their order at least once. So if yes, then you're going to if they do place their order, they're going to get a thank you for subscription email. Or if they don't place their order, they're actually going to get your second email, which is going to be a 20 percent off or a discount email after like a three days. Or you can change the time, obviously. But after that, they're going to get a social media invite and then that's going to be over. So this is a entire flow. And we're just going to click on save and exit. We're going to leave it as it is. And now you can see over here in your flow section, you have added this flow. And obviously you can change it with time. You can customize it according to your business or the type of industry that you are working in. Now, there are some things to keep in mind while creating flows. And those are if your opening rates are low. So if people are not clicking on your emails, they're not opening them whatsoever. Here are four things that you should definitely keep in mind. First off is the sending segments. So the sending segments, the sublines, the sending time, and the pre-header text. So it's very essential that you send these flows at a time which is appropriate or at a time which is garnering you the most click-through rates or the most opening rates. So you want to make sure that people are actually bothering to read your email. And obviously the sending segments and the subject lines. So if 
there if the basic subject of your email is not appealing people are not going to open it so you want to make sure it opens with a good email opening line that isn't like a basic hey guys or welcome to our subscription letter it needs to be something that is customized that is tailored to your business to your industry and that's why you have email templates you're going to make sure that you add a bit of your own sprinkle to it and not and you don't just copy it and paste it off of the internet because everyone has received a general thank you or welcome kind of email from a business the pre-header text just like the subject line holds just as much importance and you're looking for a 20% or plus open rate on your email. So at least 20% people should be opening up their emails that you send. And usually depending on the industry you're working in, it might be between 30% to 60%. Now the general thing you need to keep in mind while using Klaviyo is that you need to have a good ROI. And ROI is basically the click-through rate plus the conversion. So you always wanna opt for a email that gets you more conversion as compared to click-through rates because even if 80% of the people are opening your emails and none of them are actually generating any sales, you're not going to be earning any revenue. So if a email is maybe being opened only 50% of the time, but it is getting a conversion rate of 30% or 40%, that email is something you should prefer over a email with a low ROI. So that is just something to keep in mind while creating your workflows and emails. So I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful and you're able to send out your business emails using Klaviyo and I'll catch you guys in the next video.